Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you guys about notifications, how to create them, when you use them, tomato tomato. And this is actually my second time recording this video because I just made one like 10 minutes ago. But uh, I was editing it, getting it ready for YouTube and I realized that I just spent like 4 minutes just telling you guys a story about my life wasting time. So I was like, you know what, probably shouldn't make that again focused on the notification Android stuff instead of me just rambling on about my life so here I am take two alright so what is a notification you guys already know what it is let's say that I don't know someone likes your Facebook post you're gonna get a little icon bloop and then it says whenever you slide down the status bar alright Bucky Roberts left the comment on your Facebook post or whatever like that it's pretty much just a little alert that um, lets you know that something is going on and the cool thing about this is you can be completely out of your app you can be on your home screen maybe just checking the time whatever and you don't have have to have your app open it'll just make a little notification right there and uh, yeah so you guys already know what that is so that's what we're gonna learn how to do so the first thing we need to do is say okay just for this test app when do we want to send notifications because typically you're gonna have some service running in the background checking a database for like new comments or new likes or something but for now we're just gonna make a button on the screen and when you click it it sends a notification because you know it's pretty easy for this example so delete this text view and drag a button on there Oh, that one looks nice and we'll just say um... click for notification you can just say click if you want it doesn't really matter and the ID of this I'll just write Bucky's button so whenever we click this what's gonna happen is it's gonna send that notification and of course we need an on click method where is oh an alphabetical order probably could have guessed that Bucky's button clicked so again, this is the method we're going to be building later on that's going to send the notification to the system. So that's all the interface is going to be. Again, all of the hard work we're going to be doing in our code via that notification thingy. So the first thing I want to do is you can actually probably get rid of these. Don't need you guys for this tutorial. And clean all this stuff and there they are right there alright so well I'll explain what all of this does or actually you probably will figure it out by the time I can even explain it so those are all the imports pause the video copy them down now the first thing we need to do is we need to build an object that's pretty much going to be the notification itself and by the notification itself I mean this thing right here so the notification is kind of two parts the first part is the little thing you see on your status bar which has a little icon and a little message that says like Bucky Roberts liked your post that little message is called the ticker it's usually like one sentence long maybe just a few words just a little indicator that let you know hey you have a new notification then you slide down with your thumb or your finger or whatever and then this whenever I say the notification I'm usually referring to this part so I know it's like a two-part process but uh, whenever I say the notification itself I'm usually referring to this main notification which usually consists of an icon which may be like the logo of your app that's typically what it is or if it's um like some social activity it may be the person who either liked or commented or sent you an invite whatever and then you have this text right here and aside from that you have the time so again it's made up of a couple different things um, an icon text which is actually a title and the body of the text in the time and I'll show you guys how to customize all of these well right now so the first thing of course is an object so we can actually start building that notification so it's actually notification compat right there and then you call builder on it so this pretty much lets you build a new notification simple enough and I'm just gonna name mine notification because I'm that creative fication there we go 
notification, make sure you spell it right. Now another thing that you need is this, let me type this out real quick, private, static, final, int, and I'll just name mine, unique ID, and set it equal to some random number for right now, how about, uh, I don't know, just throw your fingers on the keyboard, 45612, why not? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving an ID number to each notification that we build. All right, why do we need an ID number for the notification? Well, check this out. Typically, the user has a bunch of notifications, which means that your phone has to keep track of them all. So to keep track of, for example, this one, new Google Plus notification, your system says, okay, whenever I click this, I need to go to the Google Plus app. Whenever I click um, like this one, three new messages, I need to go to the Gmail app. And in order to organize all of your different notifications, we need to pass it along an ID number because if we didn't have this, then your system would just view everything as a plain basic notification and it wouldn't know how to handle each one. So that's why you need an identity, an identity or yeah, to identify each one, whatever. All right, so now let's go ahead and actually do something with this object, set it equal to what it needs to be equal to, and that is equal to new notification, compat, probably should just copy this, notification, compat, dot, builder, and of course what you pass in here is just this for context. Now under this, another thing that I want to do is, well, I'll explain it in just a second. If you call notification, set auto cancel and then you pass in true what does this mean why would you want to cancel your notification whenever you created this activity well this method gets called whenever you open this screen right here so why would you want to cancel or in other words delete your notification well it's because of this let's say we were making this app for Google Plus and it said okay Earl Libbard added you back all right, so you click that because Earl, you guys are good buddies, you wanted some more information, and you got sent to your app. Well, you went to the app, and then that notification didn't disappear, it just stayed at the top of your screen. You're like, wait a minute, I just clicked it, and isn't that supposed to go away whenever I click it? Well, this set auto cancel means whenever you go to this screen, whatever notifications you have relating to the screen, you're just going to go ahead and delete them. So again, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of like standard program practice. Whenever you click a notification, it deletes from that top system status bar. So simple enough. So now what I want to do is now that we got all the housekeeping stuff taken care of is actually start building that notification, adding the icon, the title, all that good stuff. And in order to do that, remember we said whenever we click this button, it's going to call the method Bucky's button clicked. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial, actually learning how to customize our notifications.